You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures too. Honey, this one you are looking so worried. Are you sure you are okay? Is anything the problem? Everything is not okay. Then out with it. I just got a call from my sister. And she said that the boy we handed over to her grew up very stubborn. So stubborn that he doesn't listen to her nor to anybody. I, I, I feel so disappointed. I, ne I never knew about this. That's not a big problem. <laughs> Let's just bring him back and discipline him. As simple as that. Discipline who? The boy. The boy has run out of the house. That is the point. He is no longer in the house. He left the house to God knows where. Jesus Christ. Are you serious? Very serious. Very, very serious. As I'm talking to you, it has turned to a case of missing person. Yes, and I have to quickly report the matter to the police. Even though I'm confused about what to tell the police, because I don't know how to arrange that story. Honey, you know what? Truth be told, you are the cause of all this problem. Yes, I told you earlier on for us to raise that child ourselves, but you denied it. You refused. I have to be plain with you. If anything happens to that boy, his blood should be on your head, not our head. What kind of nonsense are you talking about, Eunice? How can you be saying something like that at a point like this? You should be offering solutions to this situation and you're telling me about blood. What, 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 what blood? Eh? Did, did, did I kill anybody? I took the best decision under, under, under the circumstance. Really? Yes. Oh, let me tell you, I'm pissed off with the whole thing because you did not listen to my advice, neither did you listen to my suggestions. So it is your own problem. Your problem, not ours. So deal with it. Excuse me. Oh dear, oh dear, um, my friend, my inspector, Inspector Ken. For months, we could not find him. And when we eventually did, he ran off again shortly after. And um, I'm seeing him for the first time since after then. So, he is your father? Yes. He is. Magnus. I'm sorry I couldn't tell you this before you disappeared. I intended to do that, but you were not there. This man seated here, Mr. Anyang, is your father. Tanya Munali gave his life out for me during my days in politics. And that brought us together as family. And to appreciate the deep relationship between us, I had to give out my daughter to him for marriage. That is the conclusion of the story. Maduka. Yes. Did you say Magnus is my son? Yes. I'm sorry, Anyang. I'm sorry I couldn't tell you. Your wife gave birth to him shortly before she died. I'm really sorry I couldn't reveal this to you up to this moment. And you know why. 
you know the circumstances of your wife's death. That was why. I'm really sorry. You don't know what you're talking about. You have no idea what you're talking about. My daughter, just calm down, okay? Just calm down. How can I calm down? How can I calm down when my life has been all about doing all my father's selfish beatings? Forgetting my own happiness. How can I calm down? You know quite well what I'm talking about. It's all about love. What love are you talking about? What nonsense love are you talking about? You know, I hate you each time you mention love to me because you don't love me. You don't even know what love feels like. Me? Yes, because if you do, you would have exercised patience for me. But no, you destroyed me. You ruined my life. But right now, Magnus is the only good thing that has ever happened to me. I want you to know that. That so-called Magnus is the son of your husband. I don't care. Really? I don't care whose son he is. And I don't want you to continue interfering in my business, in my future. Stay clear. And as for your company, I want you to have it back. What? Yes. I am done being your puppet, father. You mean you're choosing a man you just met the other day? Over your family? Your job? Your career? Come on. Come on, Uchi. Come on. Think about it. Think it through. It is not wise. You're making a big mistake. You're making a very, very big mistake. Take it from me. I have made my decisions, Father. I don't need to think about it. And as for that facade between your friend and I, it is over. What? Have a nice day, Father. Would you? Would you? Would you? You this. See how, how your daughter is talking to me? And you did nothing. And what is the meaning of that? What yes. is the meaning of that? Oh, yes. You deserve a round of applause. I give it to you. Father rubbed it. Yeah. Best father in the whole world. I'm sure you're happy now. I'm sure you are happy turning our child, our daughter, our only child against us. Oh yes, what ma? Excuse me. And what do you deserve? Eh? Mother of the century. Nonsense. Yeah? Yeah, you need. It's settled. I see pain, small pains. I regret everything because I've lost my respect. Which way forward, oh God? Shima! Who believes that the man you've been sleeping with is right? He's your father. Any? Maggie. Any? Maggie. Don't get me angry. I beg, I, no provoke me. Stop referring to anyone as my father. I do not have a father. Simple, please. No, no problem here. Maggie, you have a father? Yes. Because before your mom gave birth to you, someone deposited something into her. 
So the person is your father. Whether you like it or not. There are any, any, any. If you respect our friendship, change topic. The day I came into this house, I can't remember telling you I have a father. So stop referring to anyone as my father. I don't have a father. I do not have a father. I have been on my own all these years. So respect that, please. I was meant to understand that I have no father. So biko, 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 biko. Teo. Sorry about that, too. But you can't be staying here until you are willing to accept him as your father. Over my dead body, will I reconcile with that beast? I will leave. But before I leave, I must drop my signature. I will do something. this marriage it is over and as for the company i have handed it over to my father i do not care anymore please please don't do this listen old man i don't care if you were kneeling or lying but you see this this whole pretense this slavery that you call marriage i am done with it so Get over it. I am not asking you to stay with me in this marriage, but to apologize for everything I've done to you since we started living together. I was such a fool to think that being harsh on you will give me the leverage to have full control over you so that you don't cheat on me. Not knowing that I was just chasing you away from my life. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Hmm. I also heard what you did to your wife and how you killed her. Who knows? Maybe you wanted to kill me as well, right? Your father reminded me of how a terrible person I was. My heart shattered when she spoke about how my wife made sure she would give a child to me before she died. I can't stop imagining the pain and agony she went through just trying to give birth to this child. I'm such a terrible man that doesn't deserve to live. Please forgive me. I am not going to take back everything I've done to you, but all I'm saying is I'm sorry. And also, I'm not advising you to stay in this marriage. If anybody should walk away from this marriage, it is me. This house belongs to you. So my staying here would not make any sense if at the end of the day this marriage didn't work. I am the one to walk away. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Well, I don't care anymore. You can as well have the house. But my life is very important. And this is I to you like this, I fuck up. If I lie to you like this, I fuck up. I'm sorry, son. Don't call me that. You be beast and not be your son. Son where you are abandoned. 
You know, as I take grow, make I update you. They carry me, give one Olodo, we're supposed to train me. Do Olodo now and begin molest me. Begin harass me sexually. Don't they wait person they make love to you based on say, nobody say you want them, but you don't get option. You don't get where to sleep. Don't they that kind of situation before. Oh my dead body, will I accept you as a father. You are not my father and you can never be my father. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry for being a terrible father. I know I've done lots of despicable things that I'm not proud of. <clears throat> I've already made peace with living in this world without a child of my own before I was told about you. Lie, lie to lie, lie. Over my dead body, will I accept you as a father? You are a beast. I'm killing you. will bring me peace. How one are you going to lose God your blood? Now, query. My life is without a meaning. Go ahead, my dear. Just do it. That's exactly what I deserve for causing you pain. It's my pleasure to meet you. Please. Don't! Don't, please. Please. Don't do it. Oh, okay? Just put the gun down, please. Give me one reason I shouldn't. Agnes, if you kill him, you will not come out of this. Please. I also want to kill him myself because he's a terrible man, but come on. You can't pay evil with evil. Just let him go and make peace with your past. Okay, look at him. He's going through a lot already. He's battling with his demon. Just let him be. Please, let him go. Just put the gun down. Put it down. Already giving him drugs. The old man has been through a lot, you know. Okay. I have a confession to make. Okay. From onset, all I had for you was lost. Yes. I kept picturing having sex with you. And that's the reason I came here looking for a job. But when we started dating, the lust I had for you metamorphosed into genuine love. I mean, true love. But when I found out that at the point I was ready to marry you at all cost, even if it means killing your husband. But the moment I found out that the man in question is my father, it's now dawned on me that nature brought me here to meet my father and reconcile with him. Uh, why do I feel that this is not the only thing you want to talk to me about? Yes, you're right. <laughs> Listen, you are a beautiful soul. Thanks for the love. Thanks for caring about me. As a matter of fact, you reshaped the way I see women. 
you made me understand there are beautiful things. So many beautiful things you can love in a woman minus sex. But let's call it spade a spade. It won't work. Um, Magnus, I have cancelled everything between your father and I. I I am ready to sign the divorce paper and, and he's willing to sign as well. I understand all that, darling. But how do you wipe it off my memory? That doesn't change the fact that you are my father's ex-wife. That you have been sleeping with my father all in the name of marriage. Besides, how do I stand with you before my father, knowing fully well that he has been sleeping with you? It doesn't make sense. This can't work. So, my love, it's over between us, okay? Listen, all my life, I have never fallen in love with anybody. I, I don't even know what it feels like to be in love, but, 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 but when I met you, when I met you, you changed everything. I am so in love with you. I swear, I am in love with you, Magnus. I understand how you feel, darling. I know it's hard to do, but move on. No, 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 move no. Move on. Oh, what about us? What, what about everything we've been through? I was wait, 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 wait. She Uju, my daughter, I know I am no longer worthy to be called your father because I have failed you countless times. I literally got you enslaved for my own selfish ends, trying to cover up my own failures. I, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have persuaded you to marry Mr. Nyang. That was utterly wrong. Please, I'm so sorry. Forgive me, my daughter. Please. Forgive you. You forced an old man on me. A man who is old enough to be my father. A man with the history of violence. You forced him on me. Just to prove the point that you decide what happens in my life. You use my quest for a managerial position in your company as a bait to bend me to your will. You continuously hurt me, deliberately. You knew what you were doing. You were hurting me. You continued. And now I wonder, is this really my father? Tell me why I should call you my father, if not a beast. Tell me. Hi. Is, my daughter. I pleaded with your father. There is no word, no sweet word, that I did not use in order to make him revisit his decision. But he insisted and said that his decision is final. He neither listened to me, 
not to my opinions. Uh, Eunice, you should be helping me back her. Please. Please, my daughter. This matter is it is much deeper than, 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 than you can see. Would you? I have failed you as a father. Totally. But please forgive me. I take responsibility for all that has happened. Eunice, I have also failed you as a husband. Never listened to you. Never heeded your wise counsel. I, I, I thought it was just uh, women's talk. But now I know better. I, I, please forgive me. Please. I wish you and your mother could see how I feel, how terrible I feel in my heart. I wish you could see how remorseful I feel over this matter. I have no one else in this life except both of you. Thank God we are still alive, we are still strong. I know the trauma you went through. I never knew that man was that bad. Please, let us have a, a fresh start. Let us have a new beginning, please, Eunice. We still have the time. Please give me a second chance. I will never fail you again. I will listen to you, Eunice, my daughter. Everything I have is yours. The company, everything. But I just request one thing from you and your mommy. Find a place in your heart and forgive me so that I will be alive too. You gain nothing if if I die of heartbreak, will you? Please, please, my dear. I feel so terrible about this. Tomorrow now you come and carry one of your old friend and give it to come and marry you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What happened to you? I'm so happy that you're my father. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Which guy man be this yo? Anyamu, anyamu, you go kill yourself. Yo. I ready no be like this yo. I can heart attack ye, anyamu. Ije love kani kuko kuya. Go be battle feel yo, anyamu. Because with this your behavior, you go die before your time. Oh. With this your behavior, you go get it show down. Oh. My rage in a jail of my rage a boronike. Take a missy, oh. make you no die before your time. My rage in a jail of my rage a boronike. Take a missy, oh. make you no die before your time.